Hello everyone. Welcome back to manual tutorials. Today we'll be seeing a doubt which was asked by one of the students in the comment section. This is also sketch the signal example which is a ramp related question. So before we start if you have not subscribed to manual tutorials yet do subscribe and if you also have any doubts related to signals and systems or any other electronics or computer science engineering concepts please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you with that. So let's start. So the question says if r of t is ramp function sketch the following and we have four parts to the resultant which is required so let's split it so that it becomes easier for us to draw so we have four parts first part is easy it's just the ramp signal r of t as it is so this is going to be amplitude of t at instances of t so at t equal to 1 it's going to be 1 t equal to 0 it's 0 t equal to 2 is 2 at t equal to 3 is 3 and so on. So this is our r of t or the first part. Second part is r of t minus 2. Same signal you are going to shift it to the right by 2 because it is a delay right. It is minus meaning delay you are going to shift it to the right by 2. So now the signal which started at 0 will start at 2 with amplitude 0 at 2. At 3 it is going to be 1 at 4 it is going to be 2 at 5 it's going to be 3 and so on now what is expected of us we have to subtract the second signal from the first so when we subtract second signal from first from 0 to 2 you observe that first signal's amplitude is 2 at t equal to 2 second signal's amplitude is 0 at t equal to 2 from 0 to 2 you can see that first signal's amplitude is changing from 0 to 2 in a ramp fashion and second signal is 0 from 0 to 2 so you can just draw the first signal as it is because second signal's amplitude is 0 so this will help you so this is a trick which you can follow for especially ramp signals which becomes easier to draw sketch the signal examples so from 0 to 2 we just draw the first signal as it is because this minus 0 is going to be the same signal and from 2 to infinity what will we do so at 2 the signal is 2 minus 0 which is 2 at 3 it's going to be 3 minus 1 which is 2 so you can just put this point here at 4 it's going to be 4 minus 2 which is again 2 at 5 it's going to be 5 minus 3 which is again 2 so this thing or this behavior is going to continue until t equal to infinity so you can just join these points and this would be a step kind of signal from t equal to 2 to infinity you can keep in mind that when both the signals have the same slope when you subtract them it's going to be always a DC kind of signal in the resultant. So that is what we are getting away. So it's a step signal. So this is our 1 minus 2. Now what about the third part? Third part of the signal is again a shifted version, delayed version by 3. And it's amplitude scale by 2. So that is what I have drawn over here. This is our 2R of T minus 3. So you are just shifting the ramp signal to the right by 3. So when you shift it, you are going to this get this kind of a signal. So at 4 it will be t uh, amplitude is 1, at 5 amplitude is 2, at 6 amplitude is 3 and so on. But you are amplitude scaling it by 2. So now what is going to happen at 3, it is going to be 0 into 2 which is 0. At 4 it is going to be 1 into 2 which is 2. At 5, it's going to be 2 into 2, which is 4, and so on. So, this is our expected signal of 2R of t minus 3. Now, what we have to do is subtract this signal from the resultant that we got, that is 1 minus 2. Now, you can see that our second signal starts from 3 and ends to infinity. First signal starts at 0 to and ends at infinity and from 0 to 3 first signal's second signal's amplitude is 0 so again same thing we can just draw the first signal shape as it is 
so that is what I've drawn here so it's a ramp increase and then it's a continuous step until 3 at 3 first signals amplitude is 2 second signals amplitude is 0 so it's going to be 2 minus 0 which is 2 at 4 first signals amplitude is 2 second signals amplitude is 2 so it's going to be 2 minus 2 which is 0 again at 5 first signals amplitude is 2 second signals amplitude is 4 right because it's it's a uh, 2 times amplitude scale version of the ramp signal so 2 minus 4 is minus 2 that is what we have plotted here at 6 first signals amplitude is 2 again and here it's going to be 6 so 2 minus 6 is minus 4 so at t equal to 6 our amplitude is going to be minus 4 so if you just uh, join these points this kind of a signal is what you'll get and this is continued going to continue till plus infinity so this is our 1 minus 2 minus 3 now only the thing that we need to add is the last part of the signal which is 4 which is again a delayed version of the ram signal and multiplied by 2 so same thing delayed by 4 I'm going to start from 4 and amplitude scale by 2 so this is our 2 r of t minus 4 so the dotted version is what we are requiring to be added now if you see this is a trick so if you see both of these signals the 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 and this is the fourth part of the signal from 0 to 4 first signals amplitude has a non-zero amplitude second signal has zero so it's going to be same shape of the signal as we discussed earlier and from 4 to infinity you can see that the shape is just a mirror image of each other so because at 5 first signals amplitude is minus 2 second signals amplitude is plus 2 at 6 first signals amplitude is 4 second signals amplitude is this is minus 4 sorry and this will be plus 4 similarly it's going to continue minus 6 then plus 6 so when you add 2 and minus 2 it's going to be 0 4 and mi minus 4 and 4 it's going to be 0 minus 6 and plus 6 it's going to be 0 and this behavior is going to continue till infinity so from 0 to 4 we have the first signal as it is from 4 to infinity it's going to be 0 so that is what I have drawn over here So same shape that we had already drawn. So this is our resultant. This is our x of t or y of t you can say. Which is a addition and subtraction of ramps. I hope you understood this. If you have any doubt related to this video or any other concept in signals and systems or electronics or computer science engineering please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you do share this video with your friends in need and like share and subscribe to manual tutorials for more thank you for watching